Titans of CNC is a manufacturer making high-grade components. My next guest claims that with the right training, the U.S. could create more than 2 million manufacturing jobs over the next 10 years. With me now, the CEO of Titans of CNC, Titan Gilroy. Titan, welcome. So glad you're here. How important is the skilled labor force for the future of manufacturing in the U.S.? I would say it's, it's everything, right, because we have to... We have to educate and, and, and build up a workforce that can handle the complexities that come with aerospace. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm afraid to say that right now, a lot, of, uh, a lot of our kids are not actually rising up because they, can't, they don't actually have the awareness that there's this amazing industry out there that, is, that has good paying jobs and is absolutely a great place to work at. So what's the best step then to getting the word out? Is it in schools? I mean, I know a lot of schools have even cut programs like shop and carpentry and a lot more of the, the manual focus points. Is that part of the problem? Well, I think that this administration has done a great job at, you know, being pro-manufacturing. So, so there's a buzz going on and, and there's money going into the school system. So there, we're actually building more CNC shops, manufacturing shops. I'll say CNC. It's computer numerical control. It's, it's computerized machining, which is the highest end of manufacturing. And, and that, those are the machines that you use to actually create rocket parts, to create airplane parts and submarine parts. So we're actually doing this in schools, but the education process is prehistoric. So the money's going in. You have people that used to be in the trade that are, that are distributing the money. And we're just not training the way we need to train. So we're out there just pushing to actually lift the trade up and say, look, you know, this is going to be a three trillion dollar industry. It's 800 billion now. So let's get our kids excited about it. But let's actually step up our game when it comes to education, because these kids are brilliant. But we're, we're, we're training them like we did 50 years ago. Titan. Hi, this is Joni Courtney. Good morning. Um, Good I, it is great to hear you talk about this. So glad that you're on the show this morning and kind of getting that message out there. Um, I think manufacturing has a tremendous amount of opportunities. When you look at the jobs today, though, the jobs in manufacturing um, are very different, right? There's a digital component. There's additional training and skills. But there's also another dynamic that we have a large amount of baby boomers that will retire that are still working in the manufacturing and that's really going to pose a strong you know gap there, there's going to be that gap in the manufacturing in the manufacturing sector if we can't get people to work I'm curious if you see companies focusing on apprenticeship programs you know I know you're talking about high school um, training and things that they can do but but how do we get the message out there and how do we get more companies to really embrace training because we know that there's going to be a gap in having people going into manufacturing well that's a great question and uh, Fox Business is doing it right this second it's all about awareness showing parents showing students that there's actually this is a viable trade the problem with the u.s and manufacturing is that there's no standard like in advanced manufacturing cnc machining we we call it like automation and, and multi-axis you know machining there's no standard in place and therefore nobody can actually follow the same set of rules to actually train up their employees you know, this is one of the reasons that on my television show, Titans of CNC, we actually went into San Quentin and spent with our own money and our partner, using, utilizing our partners, we actually built a school in San Quentin prison and taught advanced CNC machining to inmates who had never even been on a computer before to run these $200,000 machines to create components to show people like, look, if we change our approach to education, if we actually step in the gap and actually do it correctly, we can actually train up a workforce quickly and then actually they'll be making money, we'll be helping, up, helping our economy, and uh, that's the way you need to do it. So now the template is actually online on our on our platform and we give education to all schools and all all companies for free that's amazing titan and bringing those opportunities to people as you rightly point out who might not have them otherwise titan gilroy thank you so Absolutely. much for the time